Welcome history enthusiasts to our journey through time and enigma as we delve into the top 10 unsolved historical mysteries. These are not mere tales, but significant chapters in, in our shared narrative, impacting and echoing through the ages. Each is a knot in our past, a whisper from our ancestors, bringing us face to face with enduring. Their enigma, impact, and importance shape our understanding of the past and offer insights for the future. They range from lost colonies to vanished civilizations, each holding a unique place in history. We're not just exploring the unknown, we're seeking answers to age-old questions. This isn't just a journey, a journey through history. It's a voyage into human curiosity. So, without further ado, let us begin our voyage the unknown, our 10th unsolved historical mystery. Number 10 on our list takes us back to the late 16th century, to the ill-fated Roanoke colony. The story is a captivating puzzle. A group of settlers mysteriously vanished, leaving nothing but a cryptic message carved on a post. This unsolved, unsolved mystery has intrigued historians for several centuries, with many theories proposed, but no definitive answer. In 1587, over a hundred English settlers, including women and children, embarked on an ambitious voyage. Led by Captain John White, they crossed the Atlantic Ocean with the goal of establishing the first permanent English settlement in the so-called New World. Their chosen location was Roanoke Island, now part of modern-day North Carolina. Upon arrival, the colonists found themselves in a challenging environment. The island was wild and isolated, a stark contrast to the familiarity of their homeland. Despite these challenges, they remained determined. They built rudimentary homes, planted crops, and adapted to their harsh surroundings. Life was difficult, but the settlers were resilient, striving to create a new life on this untamed island. When Captain White had to return to England for supplies, he left a flourishing settlement behind. However, when he returned three years later, he was met with an eerie sight. The bustling colony he had once left was deserted. The houses were empty, the crops were overgrown, and not a single person was in sight. There was no evidence of a battle. No signs of a hurried exit, nothing. The only clue was the word Croatoan carved into a post. This term was the name of a local American tribe and a nearby island. But despite extensive searches, no evidence of the colonists' fate was found there. This puzzling event has given rise to many theories. One suggests that the colonists were killed by local tribes although no archaeological evidence supports this. Another theory posits that the settlers tried to sail back to England but perished at sea. Yet again, there is no evidence to support this. A more plausible theory is that the colonists integrated with the local Native American tribes. DNA tests have shown traces of English ancestry in these tribes. However, the evidence is not conclusive. It's a possibility, but it has not been proven. Another theory is that the settlers succumbed to their harsh environment. However, if that were the case, wouldn't there be some evidence of their struggle, perhaps remains? Then there are those who attribute the disappearance to supernatural causes. Tales of ghostly sightings and strange lights associated with Roanoke abound. Some even suggest extraterrestrial involvement. These, however, remain speculation. Despite extensive research and numerous investigations, the fate of the Roanoke colonies remains unknown. Their disappearance serves as a chilling reminder 
of the dangers faced by those who ventured into the uncharted new world. As we delve deeper into historical mysteries, we often find ourselves with more questions than answers. The lost colony of Roanoke is no exception. It continues to fascinate historians and mystery enthusiasts, becoming an enigma that refuses to be solved. The fate of Roanoke's colonists remains one of history's most tantalizing unsolved mysteries. At number nine, we journey into the enigmatic Bermuda Triangle. This mystifying section section of the ocean, bordered by the Florida Peninsula, Bermuda, and the Greater Antilles, is infamous for numerous unexplained disappearances. The Bermuda Triangle, occasionally dubbed the Triangle, is believed to inexplicably make seafaring and airborne vessels disappear, leaving no trace behind. Encompassed within an expanse of approximately half a million square miles of sea, the Bermuda Triangle is a significant hub for international transportation. It stands as one of the world's most heavily traversed shipping lanes, with countless vessels passing through on their way to various destinations across the Americas, Europe, and the idyllic Caribbean islands. Furthermore, it plays a crucial role as an essential air route for aircraft heading to Florida, the Caribbean, and South America. Despite its status as a bustling transportation route, the Bermuda Triangle is enveloped in a chilling, foreboding reputation. Over the centuries, a terrifying number of ships, aircraft, and lives have been tragically lost within its boundaries. Its history can be traced back to the late 15th century, when the legendary explorer Christopher Columbus reported peculiar lights and erratic compass behavior here. Jumping ahead to the 20th century, the Bermuda Triangle's reputation only grew. Recorded incidents, such, such as the bizarre disappearance of Flight 19 in 1945, that involved five U.S. Navy torpedo bombers on a standard training exercise added to its infamy. The disappearance of the SS Marine Sulphur Queen, a large tanker loaded with over 15,000 tons of molten sulphur, further exacerbated the aura of mystery. Despite exhaustive searches, neither the vessel nor its crew was ever found. The Bermuda Triangle's inexplicable phenomena have sparked a multitude of outlandish theories. Some propose of magnetic anomalies interfering with navigation devices, while others, existence of gigantic rogue waves powerful enough to submerge and sink vessels. Far-fetched theories range from alien involvement, submerged ancient cities, to the possibility of interdimensional portals. In contrast, the scientific community advocates more rational explanations. They suggest that considering the high volume of naval and aerial traffic passing through the, the Bermuda Triangle, the proportion of accidents is statistically predictable. They emphasize the area's erratic weather patterns and the presence of deep ocean trenches, which could potentially engulf wreckage, rendering it unrecoverable. Nonetheless, in spite of logic and scientific rationale, the Bermuda Triangle perpetuates our collective curiosity. It stands as a testament to the unexplored and the incomprehensible, its enigma inciting speculation and fanciful narratives. The uncertainty it propagates it a fertile ground for fascination and stories, fueling our attraction to the unknown. Ultimately, the Bermuda Triangle, whether a genuinely perplexing location or a construct of collective imagination, evokes a sense of unease. It reminds us of the vast array of knowledge we still have to uncover about our planet and the intricate forces that shape it. Despite numerous investigations, the Bermuda Triangle continues to be 
a source of intrigue and speculation. Whether it's a hotspot of paranormal phenomena or simply a misunderstood section of our world, the Bermuda Triangle stands as one of the most riveting unsolved enigmas in human history. Our eighth mystery is a cryptic book known as the Voynich Manuscript. Unearthed over a century ago, this, this intriguing book has baffled some of the most brilliant minds throughout history. A Polish book dealer named Wilfried Voynich stumbled upon this enigma, a puzzle that still leaves historians, scholars, and cryptologists scratching their heads today. In his possession, the strange and cryptic book became known as the Voynich Manuscript, a name that now echoes with mystery and intrigue. The Voynich Manuscript, a fascinating relic believed to have been crafted in the 15th century, is a compact of approximately 200 pages. It teems with an array of handwritten texts written in a bizarre script, unlike anything scholars have seen before. The manuscript is adorned with a plethora of unusual illustrations. These include drawings of unidentifiable plants, complex astronomical charts, and cryptic symbols that seem to hint at alchemical practices. The manuscript's language, often referred to as Voynichis, is within itself. Numerous linguists, cryptologists, and even powerful code-breaking computers have grappled with its intricacies, but all have walked away empty-handed. The Voynich language doesn't seem to correspond to any existing languages, historical or contemporary, nor does it match any known coding systems. This linguistic mystery has made the Voynich manuscript a unique enigma in the world of cryptography, a cipher that continues to elude the brightest minds. Deciphering the purpose behind the creation of the Voynich manuscript is just as challenging as decoding its language. Some theories speculate that it might be a pharmacopoeia, a comprehensive manual containing medicinal plant recipes. This hypothesis is somewhat supported by the book's abundance of botanical drawings, even though the depicted plants don't resemble any known species. However, other theories contend that the manuscript might be a guidebook for alchemical or astrological practices, given the presence of astronomical and cosmological diagrams. There are also notions theorizing that the Voynich manuscript could be the handiwork of a cunning medieval con artist, a fictitious script devised to confound and tantalize with no genuine meaning behind the text. Alternatively, it could be a relic of an ancient secret society, its cryptic contents decipherable only to its initiated members. During the tumult of World War II, the Voynich manuscript gained the attention of skilled codebreakers. These cryptologists, the very same who had previously cracked complex enemy codes for the Allied forces, were left equally stumped by the manuscript. Despite the numerous attempts to uncover its secrets, the Voynich manuscript remains a conundrum. New theories about its origins, its intended use, and the hidden meaning behind its cryptic text continue to emerge within academic circles. Yet, without any confirmed translation or consensus on its usage, the manuscript remains as elusive as the day it was unearthed. The Voynich manuscript signifies more than just an unsolved mystery from the past. It epitomizes the human fascination with the unexplored and the unexplained. It is a tantalizing enigma that beckons us to uncover its secrets. It's a symbol of our limitations as a species, reminding us that, that despite our vast accumulated knowledge and technological advancements, there are facts about our world that still elude us. This manuscript surpasses the boundaries of time and comprehension, 
standing as a testament to human spirits, steadfast curiosity, and determination to understand the unknown. Its impenetrable pages remain a beacon, drawing us towards the thrill of discovery and the potential of revealing profound truths, our history and ourselves. The Voynich Manuscript remains a testament to the enduring allure of the unexplained. Coming in at number seven, we have the eerie tale of the Mary Celeste. This tale of mystery and intrigue has puzzled countless generations. With its origins rooted deep within the annals of maritime law, the Mary Celeste, an American merchant brigantine, holds a unique place in marine history, wrapped in a veil of enigma that continues to baffle even the most seasoned of maritime historians. Launched 1861 from the coastal province of Nova Scotia, the Mary Celeste was a feat of impeccable craftsmanship Designed for the transportation of goods across the perilous ocean, this vessel had successfully completed numerous voyages. Yet, it was one memorable journey in 1872 that carved an indelible mark in the annals of maritime history. Setting sail from the bustling port of New York City, the Mary Celeste embarked on a voyage to Genoa, Italy, on November 7th. The ship was captained by Benjamin Briggs, a seasoned sailor and a respected figure in the maritime community. Alongside Briggs were his wife, their young daughter, and a team of seven experienced sailors. The ship was loaded with 1,700 barrels of highly volatile alcohol intended for medicinal use. On the surface, it was an ordinary voyage but it eventually morphed into a profound marine enigma. Within a month of the journey, journey on December 4th, the Mary Celeste was spotted drifting off the coast of Portugal. Ship was in immaculate condition, filled with abundant provisions and completely seaworthy. However, the crew, Captain Briggs and his family were mysteriously missing. The only lifeboat was missing, and puzzlingly, there were no signs of any struggle on board. In the aftermath, several theories emerged, attempting to solve the mystery of the Mary Celeste. Some theories suggested an explosion fell due to the ship's volatile cargo, causing the crew to abandon ship. Others theorized a water spout or sea quake that might might have scared the crew into the lifeboat. An ominous theory posits a mutiny or piracy, even though concrete evidence to support such a claim is missing. One of the perplexing aspects of the case is the character of Captain Briggs. A seasoned sailor known for his courage, it's hard to imagine him abandoning a seaworthy ship without a serious reason. After the Mary Celeste's discovery, the ship was brought to Gibraltar for a salvage hearing. The goal was to decide if the crew of the De Grazia, the ship that found the Mary Celeste, were eligible for insurance payment. The hearing turned into a murder investigation with the De Grazia crew under suspicion. But in the end, no evidence of foul play was found. Over the years, the Mary Celeste passed through multiple owners before her final owner deliberately scuttled her in an insurance fraud attempt. Despite numerous investigations, comprehensive research, and endless debate, the fate of the Mary Celeste's passengers and crew remains unresolved. This tale of the Mary Celeste continues to pique the interest of history buffs and maritime scholars globally. The Mary Celeste stands as an enduring maritime mystery, its secrets swallowed by the sea. Number six on our list brings us to the enigmatic Nazca Lines of Peru. These lines, located in the heart of the Peruvian desert, are a testament 
to a civilization's ability to create art that withstands the test of time. This is not an ordinary geographical phenomenon. The Nazca lines are a collection, a collection of hundreds of geoglyphs or ground drawings. These extensive drawings stretch across a plateau spanning over 50 miles. These mysterious figures were first observed in the early 20th century by pilots flying over Peru. From their high vantage point, these pilots saw extraordinary, intricate designs seemingly drawn by a colossal hand on the Earth's surface. These geoglyphs were not random. They were thoughtfully and intentionally created. They encompass an array of elements from the natural world, including plants and animals, along with geometric shapes. The level of detail in the designs is truly astonishing. Depict everything from spirals and triangles to hummingbirds, monkeys, and even a humanoid figure known as the astronaut. This integral visual language of the Nazca lines has left many researchers pondering. The architects behind these colossal drawings and their intent remain shrouded in ambiguity. Historical evidence hints towards the Nazca people who flourished in this region from 200 BCE to 600 CE as the creators. Yet, the question of how they managed to achieve such accurate large-scale designs without the aid of an aerial view is a puzzle that still confounds researchers to date. Over the years, numerous theories have emerged, each trying to decipher this seemingly impossible feat. Some propose the use of simple tools surveying equipment, while others suggest a primitive form of hot air ballooning to obtain the much needed aerial perspective. However, none of these theories have been conclusively proven, leaving the mystery of the Nazca lines intact. The purpose of these lines is as enigmatic as their creators. Some scholars propose a religious implication, suggesting that they were a medium for the Nazca people to communicate with divine entities. Others hypothesize an astronomical context or association with water resources, both essential in the arid desert landscape. Among the more sensational theories is that proposed by Eric von Daniken in his book Chariots of the Gods. He suggests that the Nazca lines might have served as ancient landing strips for extraterrestrial spaceships. Despite receiving criticism, this theory has captivated the public's imagination, adding to the allure and fascination surrounding these enigmatic geoglyphs. Regardless of the multitude of theories, the Nazca Line's mystery endures. They represent the ingenuity and creativity of the Nazca people, who, with limited resources, managed to leave an everlasting imprint on the earth that has endured for thousands of years. The Nazca lines are more than just mere drawings in the sand. They are a connection to our past, a testament to human creativity, and a reminder of the mysteries that still envelop us. In 1994, the Nazca lines were declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site, ensuring their preservation for future generations. Each year, they continue to attract tourists and scholars from around the world, all eager to witness the grandeur of these remarkable geoglyphs and perhaps to decipher their secrets. The Nazca lines continue to mystify scientists and historians alike, their true purpose hidden in the sands of time.